G-Power to find the minimum sample size needed to run a one-way or one-sample t-test. One-sample t-test is where you have a single sample from a population and you're comparing your sample mean to the stated population mean or the norm or the claim, whatever you want to call it. So let's pull up Mr. G-Power. And again, we're going to go make sure we're in the test family t-test. And... So we're going to go to this mean difference between two dependent, nah, nope, uh, independent, nope, um, one sample case, right, from a constant. The constant is what we call the population mean. But same thing with the tail, one tail. If we think our sample is going to be bigger or smaller than the stated population mean, that would be a one-tailed test. And if not, it would be a two-tailed test. If we just say it'll be different where we're not really picking a side, that's called directionality, by the way. Um, we would That would be a, a two-tailed test without directionality. So the effect size is the medium. Computer picks us for it. Fix it for us. Thank you, Mr. Computer. And then the critical alpha is 0.05. Change the power to 0.8 because we're a soft science. Hit the calculate button. Boom. And there's a simple, there's your minimum sample size, 27. That's interesting. That's the same number as the parity test. But that's it. MGZ, out.